Hello guys, well, after being trying for many hours, if not days, uh, to play around with between Ableton and Lightform and try to animate our uh, projection, we finally figured it out, a friend of mine and myself. So I'm going to show you here uh, and I'm going to lead you step by step on how it needs to be done. Uh, I hope you enjoy this as I did after we figured out. So we have our light from here. We have our recording machine, which I am showing uh, here through the camera stream. Uh, I recorded, a, I'm, I'm projecting on a, on a TV. Right now I'm not projecting on a wall, just to make things easier for me. Okay, and these are the OSC parameters, which I have from what I got. Well, this is the magic that I want to show you. Once you have everything set up, which I will explain step by step, this is what happens. Once you push play, you get signal from music and all that here, but you go into your light form and it's animated same as the screen that you are looking at. What are we animating here? The text. Text is being animated by music. What happens if I turn off the music here? We lose our text in here. What happens if I play? It shows and animates as well. So this is very cool, right? So the, let's go. Let's go step by step, see how this is done. Stop. I go here. There are several things that I need to explain. Uh, as you know, or as you read in live form, only one um, layer can be animated on in, in, in every slide, and that is true. But once you say something that let's say you want to animate something, and as soon as as soon as you press live, whatever layer position it was, it goes up to the top. Then you can pull it down again. I put it down because I needed an external frame, but you have to, but it, but it goes to the top. So it will be here. This is nice and not so nice because originally we were trying to animate the speakers and every time we animate them, they go to the top. So they cover the text. So what we end up doing, we went to Photoshop and we make a mask over there. And then when we, uh, select what to do here. Uh, it just chose text or speakers. We, we did both trying and trying. No, in this case, we're going to see the text, but I want to tell you that you have to think about this, uh, on how to do it. So it will go up right to the top. Okay. That is one thing. And the other thing, well, let's go step by step. So in here, we chose to choose, we chose to animate the text, which is here, right? Okay, now let's go to, well, once this is done and you set up live, the next step is publish. Because if you stream it, you cannot see the animation by tech, by music. It has to be published. Because once it's published, you get these texts from the slide. See? These circles here have the same buttons that you have in the slide animated. This is live, oh, sorry. This is live, and this is what we got as instructions for Ableton. This is very important. So once you uh, publish, you go to control, you say edit OSC mappings, and you get this menu. From this menu, this is going to be become very important for you. These instructions here, because because each slide. Uh, that you animate something different has different controls. Each effect, circles has these controls. But if I were to choose another effect to be animated, it will have different controls because they have different settings to be animated. Okay. So that you need to know. Okay. So once we are here, let's go step by step. I'm going to close my file. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to start new. Okay, it's already saved. So let's say new. Save, no. When you start live Ableton, it's like this. There is nothing here and there is nothing here and 
blah, blah, blah. So first you have to download a couple things. Uh, and those couple things are uh, this library, which give you OSC commands. Uh, once you have the program, this is for free. And then you need Max for Life. Uh, this is all in the page of Ableton. Okay. So what you what we're gonna do here is first we drag a song to one of our audio channels because they were explaining a program for Mac and in Mac you have to convert audio to MIDI somehow something like that uh, to patterns and then that's what you do here turns out to be a lot easier. Thank God. Anyway. So I show you, I'm going to drag a song that I already have in here. I drag it to any of those two audio clips. I put my camera back. And it's already here, right? It recognizes the song in here. And once this process is done, you can start fooling around. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we go and we, from here, we select and we drag into these windows, this OSC Send. And it gives us this menu. This menu is very important. Now, this menu has these two uh, screens on top. This is the host and this is the port. Port for uh, live uh, for light form is always 8000. So this is pretty simple. 8000. And that's, you don't have to look anywhere else. It took a while to figure it out. But that's the port that you're going to use for Lightform, always. And this number here, when you connect your unit to your LF unit, your, to your software, and you go to control, it gives you a number here. Now, there is an issue here that I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this later, because this uh, host name is given uh, when you are connected through Wi-Fi. Why is this important? Because if you go to some location, you probably won't have Wi-Fi. So there is another way to connect, which is pairing. But if you pair Ableton and Lightform so far, I couldn't make them communicate at all. The only way so far I could make it work is through Wi-Fi. And I got this host name. Uh, if you go uh, and pair, you get a host name. But it doesn't, for some reason, when you put it here, it doesn't work. I'm not sure. So let's anyway, let's go with this one for now. Host name is this one, 192.168.0.12. We set it up here. 192.168.0.12. Right? Enter. So we have it there already. So this is what is going to connect this program to this program. Now, next step in the same window, you have to go to instruments, uh, well, let me open it. You have to go through instruments, yeah. Sorry, to audio effects, audio effects, and you're gonna need to drag an audio effect racked from here. You drag it right here, it's already here. And then you have to go to Max for Life, and you have to drag envelope follower. To the rack effect here and this gives us these two windows this is what makes everything works basically in here you have this menu here you're gonna click it for now and you're gonna have these mapping tools same as here and then we're gonna press this button here so we get the controls for the envelope follower Okay, so we need these controls, we need this screen, and we need this screen as well. Now, the way it works is here we're going to enter the OSC address, which we have in here. And then we're going to map it to our program. So we, I'm going to go step by step. It's a little bit slow, but so you can see. So copy from there, paste in here. Copy from here. Paste in here. Copy from here. Paste in here. Copy from here. Paste in here. Now we have that done, right? These are the same instructions as this one. 
This, usually you don't need to do it the way I'm doing it, but because I'm teaching you and I somehow disconnect Ableton from Lightform, I have to redo it. But when you do it from the beginning, when you have Ableton already set up and Lightform already set up, as soon as you uh, publish, it copies in the, the parameters here automatically. But if not, this is the way you can do it anyway. Nothing happens if it doesn't get done automatically. Now, it's very important to go here step by step because there is an order to do this. If I click here, it doesn't work. If I click here, it doesn't work. This is the way to be done. First, I chose one of the parameters here. I say map. I go here and I choose the first one too. I say map and I click on micro on macro one. See, now we have macro one here and macro one here. Then I select map two map and macro 2. In this case we have four controls so we're gonna go four of them. Macro, I mean map, map and macro 3. And last one, map 4, map 4, macro 4. And that's what we needed. Now it's already set up. We're gonna decrease this menu again by clicking here and we have the gain which is our volume once it's uh, ready. I'm going to minimize here. Right now we don't have anything happening here and probably nothing's going to happen. I'm going to put stop here for a second. So it reconnects the program because when you just start, it doesn't work. Let's see. I put play. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Let's play the music. And voila, it's already automating our software. Now, look at this, it's very cool. With this volume, you can decrease or increase your effects without altering the volume, the output volume, or anything like that. Right? Also, I mean, I'm using an MP3 right now in here, but if you go here and you select audio from where, you, you can choose in configurations, you can choose, uh, you can choose uh, audio in from some mixer. So in your laptop, you connect the audio in from the mixer and it goes at the same time than the G DJ is sending you the music. So that is no problem. You you can uh, prepare your presentation with music here or by doing that that I just told you, you can leave the computer playing and the DJ is the one controlling somehow the animation here when he stops the songs, the audio will stop and he increase the, the volume. Well, the volume you have to increase it from here in the beginning. See, nothing happening right now because there is no music. So let's play it again just for fun. Let's try to see if we can see. Let me see. Okay, there we have all the controls. And let's play. Oh, this is magic. This is very cool. And then I can increase this or decrease it. And like that. That's the way it works. Then you can go back and build another slide and chose, in this case, the same respect, but with a different animation or in your next slide, you can choose another one. It doesn't matter. You can choose pretty much anything. Just it's, it's, you have to consider it's going to go to the top. It's going to be on top of everything, right? So that's what I was explaining in the beginning. That's something to be considered. And that's all it is to it to have it playing for you. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope it makes your life easier now because it was pretty damn hard to figure it out. Thank you guys. See you. Goodbye.